What's up and welcome back. Man, I'm excited to be here today. We're going to have a discussion for all of my gritty, tough entrepreneurs out there that needs to be had. I'm going to tell you a couple stories about why grit is a very dangerous word, a very dangerous phrase. If you're an entrepreneur that has fought to build a business, maybe you fought to build up who you are, maybe you fought against the machine, who knows what it is you're fighting against. If you've used the word grit before, I want to reframe it for you. I want to challenge you to your core. I love being a gritty entrepreneur, but man, this word drives me bananas. We got to talk about the word grit. Buckle up, take some notes. I'm going to break this down for you. Grit. Okay, I'm going to walk you back in time. 2001, really, really far back. I'm like just signing up for for high school. I graduated high school in 2005. And I know that soccer is my favorite game. I know that the only way to make it on the varsity team as a freshman, we had a really good soccer program at the school I went to in PG County, Maryland. The only way to get there is to be good enough. And if I'm not good enough, the only thing that will keep me around is being gritty. I didn't, I don't think I knew what the word grit meant then, but I knew that if I worked really hard, really, really, really hard, I'd have a chance. I'd have a moment. Make it to the varsity team, my career begins. And throughout that high school career on that soccer team and the club teams that I was playing on, I started to adopt a trait. That trait was grit. I started to be told over and over, you're gritty, you're gritty, you're gritty. Now, where I grew up was an interesting microcosm of a lot of things. It was a very diverse area. And my high school had a lot of people, like 2,500 people. So it was very big and very diverse. In fact, our like the stereotypical balance of high schools was almost completely backwards with where people were from, color of their skin, economics, like all of it, just very, very backwards from what most people did. I grew up right outside DC. So there was a lot of Latino influence, a lot of African-American, a lot of Caribbean influence, a lot of South American influence. So I just got a very interesting taste of different cultures. On that particular topic of grit, I also learned what it meant to, to, to like be a fighter, right? To be a gritty grappler, a battler for what I believed in. So sports started to teach me that. If I flash forward to the end of my soccer career in high school, I tore my quad. I was training with a, a Latino group in a gymnasium. I got like, I don't know, an elbow or a knee or something to my, my quad on my right leg and it, it ripped, torn. And most of the people told me I would never play soccer again. Doctors, chiropractors, all these people. So I committed then and there. I remember it mentally. I, I walked into my coach's office and I handed in my bag. All my my like gear was clean, and I said, "I I can't play anymore, Coach. I'm I, I got I'm done." He wouldn't let me quit. I was the captain. He was like, "I will not let you quit. I need you to show grit." So, I think that moment got like burned into my my mind that grit was not quitting, and that today is what we're going to debunk. While I appreciate the moment, and I appreciate that he would not let me walk away. That was a really well-intentioned thing. Grit is definitely not don't quit. That's what we're going to break down today. Follow along because your definition of grit might also be don't quit. You see, grit, even if I look at beyond high school, if I look at college, if I look at what happened after college with career, pursuit, relationships, I believe that grit meant don't quit. And that created some serious pain for me. Wow, I can I can think of these moments where so much suffering was underway because of this warped mentality, this warped grit belief. Now, if you have grown up on the East Coast, anywhere near DC or Baltimore, you might know this word, right? You're gritty. You'll fight. Uh, Philly knows this too. Philly's a gritty city, right? You're you're just you're tough and you'll take punches. And when life kicks you, you'll get right back up and you'll try again. And I got a lot of respect for that. That's not what we're here to talk about. I believe that you need to get back up when life kicks you. I love the people that keep fighting when they're down. That's not grit. This idea that grit is quitting or grit is not quitting creates a, a big problem 
And here's where this goes wrong. I spent most of my life believing that if I quit something, I was wrong. I, I was I was bad. I was I was weak. I was powerless, and I was afraid. Wait a minute. Those are really aggressive words here. Question is really not are you quitting? Because that might actually be a really important thing for your life. Question is, what are you quitting? I spent most of athletics finding ways to suffer because I thought that's what grit meant. The more I suffer, the more I'll grow. And in the athletic sense, there's some realities to that, right? Athletics taught me this, that if you, if you just burn enough, you'll grow. You break down the muscle, it'll grow back stronger. And, and I understand that. And even in the athletic sense, I have some grace for it and some appreciation for it. But, but here's, here's where I got hung up. When I stopped the pursuit of athletics as a profession and career, when I stopped that as the dream, when I, when I let go of that to focus on what I was really meant for, something really interesting started to happen. I had conditioned myself in the space of athletics to look for moments that were hard and created suffering and pain because that led to gain. This is the no pain, no gain nonsense that we love to believe. We got to dismantle that. In athletics, that's what I hunted for. Well, flash forward, now I'm, I'm building a business or I'm in a, in a job. And now I'm looking, if I want to grow, I'm looking for pain. I'm, I'm like attentive to it. If there's not enough suffering, it must not create enough growth for me. That pattern started to create a really dangerous cycle. And listen, if you're starting a business, you got to watch out for this. If you are pursuing a fitness industry career, if you want to get into, I don't know, NPC competitions, or you want to do bodybuilding, you got to really watch out for this. When we look for gain through the lens of pain, tough, we're gritty. We're setting ourselves up for a dangerous cycle. My cycle was, I'll find the suffering. I'll find it. I'll find the choice that creates the most pain because obviously that's where the most gain is, right? If it's hard, if it's difficult, if I suffer a lot, well then sure, I must be, I must be growing, right? Totally false. And I remember getting so lost in my own like self-sabotage, my own perpetuation of pain that I had to like get a cabin in the woods and just cry for two days. It just, it just was so bad. And I, I felt like the world was collapsing around me. It was really difficult. Now here, here's the thing. Grit, the, the definition of grit being don't quit is a disempowering thought. It's also a lie. And here's the definition of grit that I like to use now that I, I want you to at least adopt for a moment while we talk through this. Grit is making the tough choice. Ooh, grit is making the tough choice. Isn't that a little different? Doesn't that hit a little different? When, when I think about that, I now have a whole new lens on life, on business, on pain. Oof. I came back from that cabin and I had made a commitment to myself that, that I would never go back to the way that was. I didn't make any money. I was frustrated. I wasn't getting clients. This was, I wasn't even a coach then. This was like way before all that. I was building a nonprofit. I was like going after all these grants and funds and I'm trying to teach kids about money and like everything in the world is collapsing. I'm starting to feel like I'm incongruent because I'm teaching them about money. But the business, the, the nonprofit had only raised like 26 grand the first year. I paid myself eight. I was coaching soccer on the side so like I could live, but it was just not good. And I thought that if I just plowed through it, I'd get there. It was a disempowering thought. And grit being this, just make the tough choice. This is where grit really gets tested. Because if by this definition, grit, grit actually becomes an asset to you, not a liability, right? Don't quit is a liability. Don't quit keeps you in the box. Don't quit keeps you showing up for something that you know isn't good for you. Here's a couple things that it did for me. Over time, this pattern took me down interesting paths. I suffered too much. I stayed in bad relationships too long. I didn't walk away from disrespect. I, I took that 
right? If someone disrespected me, I, I might just stay there. Like, don't quit, don't quit, don't quit. I, I like, I walked away from so much after this definition changed because I couldn't tolerate it anymore. I could let go of a company that I no longer loved and felt passionate about. I've been, I've been burnt out. I let go of business partners and friends. And I stopped telling myself this story about like, don't ever quit and don't ever let go. Don't ever give up for a new option to say, well, wait a minute. Can I have something amazing? Can I build something amazing? Can I be somebody amazing? Can I give myself space to be empowered, to be bright, to be wonderful and great? Can I, can I give myself space for that? See, here's the thing. Grit, by this definition of don't quit, put me into a couple spots. It put me into suffering all the time. It put me into enduring all the time. I endured so much under this idea that like grit means don't quit. Grit means don't quit. It kept me holding on, like waiting for the right thing, the good thing for me. I was always on the lookout for it, but I was holding on that it would come. I, instead of creating it and living in it, I was waiting for it to arrive. It's a victim mentality. I was making other people happy. With everything I got, I'm like sacrificing everything I can. I'm making other people happy. And that self-sacrifice took me down really difficult trails. Oh my God, difficult, difficult trails. I think that when we can look at grit differently, we have new options and actually very exciting options. Let me tell you a story. A friend of mine, we were in discussion about whether or not he should let go of his business. And he, he had the same mentality I did. I think many of us entrepreneurs do. We're, we're like, I can't quit. I can't let this go. Like I gotta just, if I just tough it out a little longer, just a little longer, come on, I got this. It's not a hike. It's different than that in business. Just a little longer. And I said to him, I said, uh, I know you to be a gritty person, but what if grit was just making the tough choice? And you could kind of see him like pause and scratch his chin. Said, look, I, you ultimately get to make the choice. But if you live under the premonition that you're gritty, you believe that you're a gritty entrepreneur, you're, you're strong, you're tough. And also that grit is making the tough choice. Now you have a different option. Now maybe making the tough choice is letting this business go. Maybe making the tough choice is ending that relationship. Maybe it's moving on from the city that you love. Maybe making the tough choice is saying no to something that has become a pattern. Maybe making the tough choice is actually a whole new life for you on the other side of the choice. See, I think grit can be a, a really interesting tool if you know how to use it, but if it only means don't quit, you just keep stacking on and stacking on. You just keep adding. You don't subtract. You got to subtract some stuff if you want to get better in your life. I, I love to say this. If you want better yeses in your life, then you'll need more no's. You need way more no's. And this idea of not quitting, I, I do get that there is a difference between like giving up and quitting something that is really on your heart and mind that that you need to put time into, that you need to put effort into. I'm not saying don't put effort into your stuff. That's not what I'm saying to you. What I'm saying is that sometimes making the tough choice is letting go and quitting something that doesn't serve you anymore or quitting something that doesn't help you or move you forward or realizing that you've been the problem the whole time and you got to quit with the behaviors that you've got. You might have to quit with the, the pattern that you're in. Whatever that is, it's okay to walk away. I'm going to give you permission to do that. See, I think my story has taught me a, a couple really unique and maybe moderately difficult principles to adopt. We, we don't like to adopt these principles, right? When, when you're presented with the idea of grit, it's much easier to adopt, don't quit, because that's, that's the way we use the word. That's not what the word is about. The word grit to me is having an exterior that is, you know, it's, it's got a toughness to it. And that's why I think the definition of making the tough choices is so meaningful. I think of sandpaper, right? Sandpaper is gritty. Like when you rub up against sandpaper, you don't always feel good. 
it doesn't feel good on your hands. If I, if I like rub it on your forehead for long enough, you're going to be like, dude, please stop this. I bet it would be a few seconds. It's going to be uncomfortable. We then get to figure out, we get to determine whether that discomfort is a positive or a negative. And that's where the lie is. If you figure out that the discomfort is positive, endure it. That makes sense. Go through it. Love it. Lean into it. That was definitely a big part of athletics, right? You're not going to be able to run two miles under 12 minutes without a little bit of discomfort. You're not going to be able to build a business without a little bit of discomfort, but it's got to be a positive. As soon as we can recognize that it's a positive, we can push through it. I very much believe in that. Hard work is important in entrepreneurship, in the pursuit of creativity, in the expansion of your consciousness into however you live your life. It's very, very important. And it's okay for something to be, to invoke discomfort and be bad for you. It's okay for that because then you can let it go. Then you can say no. Then you can say, look, not only is this uncomfortable, but it's bad for me. Again, back to the sandpaper mentality. If I'm just scratching you and it, there's no gain, you would tell me to stop. Of course you would tell me to stop. It'd be silly to endure that kind of pain. Is the thing that you've got to be gritty for a positive? If not, maybe you can make the tough choice and you can be gritty and you can let it go. See, I think grit in business, especially might mean cutting a product that's not selling, or it might mean raising your prices and knowing that people are going to be phased out. It might mean that you know your own worth now and you can't work in the same kind of conditions. It might mean a new relationship. It might mean a new friendship. It might mean new family traditions. It's encouraging to think about what it could become if you let go of some of these things that, that don't help you anymore, that disempower you. Grit can be an empowering idea. If you say, okay, I got to make a tough choice. I got to walk away from this. That's the tough choice. I got to let this go. Tough choice. I got to say no to something I've said yes to. Tough choice. That could be drinking less. That could mean spending money on travel instead of fashion and clothes. One of the things I never understand why people buy is expensive belts. Like, it's just never been my thing. Look, if that's your thing, I mean, hey, look, you do you. But... But like, if you need to give up belts because that's your jam, and this is a weird example, but if you need to give up belts to live the life that you want, to like travel the world, then give up the belts. Make the tough choice and give up the belts. Give up the shoes, give up the swag, give up the tech. If you want to go live the life that you want, that's grit. Grit is buckling down on what you want. Grit is accepting this is what I want, and therefore I'll make the tough choice to get it. Sometimes those tough choices affect others. That's part of grit too. And this definition really set me up to be more free. To make tough choices allows me to be gritty, especially being that I came from Baltimore and DC. Like this is part of my DNA, be gritty. But this opened it up even further to say, do I need to show grit here and make the tough choice to let it go? Or do I need to show grit here, make the tough choice and stay in? Ultimately, the question behind that is, what is it that I need to quit or let go of? And is it for the positive or is it for the negative? I hope that where you are, you're facing choices that are easy to discern, where it's easy to tell like this is for the positive. I'm, I'm recommitting because it's easy. I'm recommitting because I, I'm clear on it's a positive. And I hope that you're able to, to tell the difference between something that is tough but positive for you or tough and negative for you. Though, those are very big difference. They are wildly far apart. And as long as you can tell the difference, you can make the gritty choice. We cut what doesn't and we double down on what does. And I hope that for your toughness and for the, the thing that you are so great at, for the, the things you believe about yourself, and, and most importantly, if you're getting out of your own way, this is a big part of your change, right? Sometimes grit is good for a little while and then it trips you up. Then it, it stops your progress. And it did for me. I hope it doesn't for you. As long as you can tell I'm being tough, I'm being gritty for the positive, I'm being gritty and it's just getting worse and worse and worse. I've had to make a lot of tough choices in my life. 
And this set me free because now grit and making tough choices are aligned. It is the definition, in my opinion, of grit, being able to make the tough choice. I hope this sets you free. I want to remind you of something as you go into your day, especially if you've been fighting, if you've been enduring, if you've been tough in your pursuit. There's a statement that we use in all of our coaching. The statement is, I am well. Now that, that's an acronym. W-E-L is an acronym. Worthy, enough, lovable. You've probably heard it on a different episode. If not, you'll hear it on many of these episodes. But I want to relay it to you. And you can say it after me. I am well. I am worthy. I am enough. I am lovable. That trio of words has been the hardest thing for me to accept about myself for a long time. And being gritty, I always thought that, you know, I had to be tough to get those things. I had to earn those things. I had to like create enough in my life, create a, a, a outcome, produce enough to become worthy, to become enough, to become lovable. And I think that has been a really big tax. I've lost a lot of money in bad investments that I refuse to just cut and make the tough choice and go. I've made bad choices in business. I've lost business structures. I've lost business partners. I've lost friends. I've lost family. All to this idea that like, I've got to make tough choices if I want to go after what I want. No matter whether you are going through that or not, or if maybe it's a part of your future as this illuminates a new idea, I want to remind you that no matter what of those things changes, you are well, you are worthy, you are enough, and you are lovable. If this message connects with you, I'd love to hear from you. Send me a note. Tell me what choice you've been avoiding because there's a tough choice that you need to make that you've been avoiding. That's part of being in your own way. And if you're going to get out of your own way, and you're going to listen to this show. I want you to make those choices. I know it's scary. I get it. I've been there. I've done it too. So reach out. Let me know. What are you doing now that grit has been redefined as making the tough choice? What are you doing different? I'll see you on the next episode. You are worthy. You are enough. You are lovable.